Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm referred to as the Big Game Hunter because I coach people that play their lives, their careers, big, huge. And, and I'll just say that I do a Monday through Friday blab on blab.im. You know, it's a, an opportunity for me to chat with people about job hunting, answer questions that have been sent to me, things along those lines with an idea toward helping people be more effective in their job hunting and in their careers and lives. You know, my experience says that for most job hunters, things are a lot more complicated than they need to be. They do things to sabotage themselves, unfortunately, with the result being that they miss out on opportunities way too often that they should be able to accept. That's where this blab, that's where all my other video content on YouTube, my new membership site they'll be launching at the end of the first quarter this year, Job Search Coaching HQ, uh, are all designed to help, as well as my podcasts, Job Search Radio, No BS Job Search Advice Radio. So I'll simply say that I will here to help Monday through Friday at noon Eastern. Now, did anyone watch the, the debates and, and been thinking about the presidential elections in the context of job hunting? My goodness, there's some great lessons in there. So let me just pull in one that I mentioned this morning on a video I did, and that is on branding and Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is probably one of the most interesting and originally branded individuals I've seen in recent times. The only other one that really compares to him and helped him get elected was Barack Obama. If you go back to 2008, when Senator Obama was running for office, so much of the branding that the senator did was around being young, energetic, someone who could bring us together again, and shared a lot of great stuff about his life story and what had brought him to where he is today. Great message. I'm not going to get into the politics of whether he did or didn't do what he set out to do. That's irrelevant to this story. It's the notion of what's the emotional connection that was created by Senator Obama at that time and Senator Sanders now. Let me come to Senator Sanders. Senator Sanders probably decided to run for office a few years ago. And I say that because you know, on Facebook, suddenly there are all these memes that the senator would put out every time there was some issue from a political nature that would show up. I remember seeing them, and this isn't one of them. I'm just going to paraphrase the typical meme. Problem in the United States of some sort, you know, pic I'm sorry, picture of uh, of Sanders pointing at you. Problem in the United States of some sort, Sanders says, we can do better. So education, for example. Uh, there are people working as baristas at Starbucks while the criminals who uh, cause the economy to collapse are walking around free. College should be a right for everyone. We can do better. That was a typical Sanders meme over the last few years. And I'll just simply say that two years ago when I started to work uh, on, on more of my recent content, I noticed Sanders and I said, he's going to run for president. <laughs> no one is that active socially amongst politicians unless that idea is in the back of their mind. So lo and behold, he announces it is not a surprise at all. So let's contrast them with Martin O'Malley. Robert Hamilton, welcome, by the way. Martin O'Malley, it's almost as though he woke up one day and decided to run for president. Went to the usual suspects, say, can I raise some money from you? They said, sure. And he's off on the campaign trail. What's his brand? When you think of Bernie Sanders and his brand, I think there are a couple of things that may come to mind for you about the Sanders brand. Million Dollar Bill, welcome for, and thanks for joining. We think about 
Bernie Sanders and his brand. There are probably a couple of things that come to mind about him. Looking out for the little guy, right? Uh, you know, he's like us. He's concerned about us. Now, I'm not getting into the politics here. I'm just talking about the brand of Bernie Sanders. Now, he can't be bought. You know, he, he says very clearly that he's not re raising money from big moneyed interests. He just looks for little people making donations to his campaign, right? So there's an image that you have of Sanders as a result of all of this that's part of his brand. O'Malley, I don't think I need to say anything else. He's lost. <coughs> Sanders versus Clinton. Different branding. You know, Secretary Clinton has a particular brand. I'm running as a, a candidate for all women. She also has the brand of competence. Now, part of the issue with Senator Clinton is there's been some uh, stories that have come out that have questioned the competence uh, that she has. Again, not about the politics here, about the brand of Hillary Clinton. And the impact is Senator Sanders has a pretty clear field here. He doesn't want to get into mudslinging. He says, we have to avoid that kind of discussion because we don't want to elect the Republican. Secretary Clinton is thrilled about this. Again, not about the politics. It's all about who's controlling the discussion, and what emotional connection you start to develop with them. Sanders, young vote. Clinton, older vote, older female. You know, difference in the markets that they appeal to. And thus, from a job hunter's perspective, they both speak to the importance of branding as part of your strategy. You know, for you as a job hunter, you may be watching this at a time that you're already looking for work. But the point I want to call attention to is how Sanders was proactive a couple of years of advance, in advance building his brand and doing things to enter your consciousness as a possible candidate and create an image in your mind of what he was like. Let me go on the other side. Donald R. Trump. Again, not about the politics. What's the brand of Trump? One thing is, I can't be bought. Number two is, I'm just going to say what comes to my mind. I don't really care. You know, I'm not one of the Washington politicians. Fizz, welcome. If you want to take a seat, be happy to talk to you. You know, can't be bought. There's the, uh, well, again, not the politics, but you know, I'm going to say what's on my mind. I'm going to control the conversation. No one can push me around. I know how to make a deal. And that's his brand. Whether you think he's insane or not, whether you think he would run the country into the ground, he has a clear message for people. Ted Cruz, again, I don't know if you agree with him or not, but at the end of the day, he has a message of being an ardent conservative. He has a, a, a faith-based message uh, that appeals to a certain part of the population. And he's uh, you know, a guy who won't be pushed around by the establishment. Trump, Cruz, Sanders, non-establishment candidates. They say what they mean, and they mean what they say. Real simple. Dan, welcome, by the way. So at the end of the day, for you as a job hunter, it's important to create a brand and an image for yourself. And that can exist within your current firm or within the next firm or within a, a large population of people that you serve. So, for example, you may not have known of me until today. That's fine. But there's hundreds of thousands of people who do from my podcast, my writing, my books, my e-zines, a whole host of other things that I've done that have helped people learn about me and reach out for coaching. I'm going to accept someone in. Bear with me. Bear with me for a second while Pastor BJ joins me. Pastor, I can't see you. I hope to be able to hear you soon. I'm going to continue on. I hope you're able to enter the blab. So 
at the end of the day, it's important to create a message that's congruent about what your market is going to care about and what matters to them that's going to help you sell yourself and your credentials so that the next organization wants to reach out to you and wants to know you because that's what makes things a lot easier for you uh, as a job hunter. Uh, I lost her there. She was there a moment ago. Pastor BJ, I hope you join me again. So branding is a critical component of your career and your career management. Without a brand, you're left lurching from situation to situation, trying to knock down doors at a time where you're anxious to find work, fearful, struggling. Maybe you're not struggling. Maybe people are reaching out to you because you have the right LinkedIn profile or some other reason. But at the end of the day, you have to brand yourself you have to do things in order to promote yourself, in order to make yourself attractive to your market. Because as you look at Sanders, Trump, and other successful candidates, and again, not about the politics, they have created a demand for themselves through their behaviors, whether you agree with them or not. And that's what you want to be doing for yourself, too. So... Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm new to Blab, so I, I'm sorry about the um, <clears throat> technical difficulties here. Someone else had a problem, too, so I don't presume it was on your side. It could have been on someone else's side. You know, I um, it's, it's interesting. I just opened up the computer, and it automatically put me into your your show. Um, but I like what you were saying, so I... I, I just clicked call in, but I am trying to figure things out and to, I, I don't want to automatically jump into a, um, into a, one of these uh, blabs without, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a way to observe it without um, to kind of watch what's going on before you come in, but I guess it doesn't work that way, huh? Uh, I'll just simply say that.